Hello YouTube, PSP Hacker AOD here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, speaker rings for making custom door panels. And basically you're going to want to have your measurements or whatever. So we've got ours here. You're going to want to have a drill bit, or a drill, uh, red drill bit for a certain pin size that um, you're going to be using on your plunge router. And basically this helps you cut a perfect circle every time, no matter what, and it's pretty awesome. Alright, so basically now I made all my passes on this. As you can see, it's still not cut out. It's kind of messed up a little bit, but I'm still able to make do with it. And I have my speaker, the cover here basically, and look at this. It's perfect in here. Ta da! Now I just gotta make another pass all the way around it. And, um, or not all the way around it, out, out a couple passes. <laughs> a little bit, I need something else, but it's gonna be. Alright, so now we got. Um, our speaker in basically and our speaker's gonna sit in it and all that good stuff. It looks a little rough but once I sand it up it's gonna look good. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the rest of the ring before I start sanding it. And I put on the set I got in the junkyard. They're not perfect as you can tell, kinda whatever. They're filthy right now. But um, I took off the originals, I put these ones on and basically I'm gonna start cutting them up and figuring out how everything's gonna fit together. Didn't have a good knife, this is all I found. So, fuck it, it's gonna have to make do. but um, you can kind of see my shape. I'm going to use the stock, whatever the hell that shape is, but I'm going to have the roundness shape also. Um, I found that with all this tape, if I screw up and I get some fiberglass where I don't want it, it makes it easy just to kind of slice it and peel the tape off. But um, I'm not an expert at fiberglass, and I'm pretty sure lots of you point out things I did wrong, but um, for what I'm trying to do and accomplish, it's working. Like I said, this is my first time, kind of an amateur at it. Um, got kind of the front attached. Um, gonna put something to strengthen it on the back and then a little bit more on the front for some extra strength. And um, then it should be time for some body filler. And hopefully it'll look cool and I can time and paint it. With the shape you want, you then prime it. And you're gonna wanna have try to have it as smooth as you can. I used um, really fine sandpaper. Once I got the shape I used 220 and then I used 400. But still you can see a couple scratches and stuff. So then 
after I put that primer on it. That's filler primer, by the way. I put a bunch of coats on it. Spot prime or the spot filler on this one that's already primed. This stuff comes off extremely easy. So it basically fills in all the little nooks and crannies. I'm gonna use like a 400 or maybe maybe a little bit low, lower, maybe like 350 or something to stay on this just to get it perfect and then more filler primer. And once all the flaws are gone, then it's gonna be ready for some paint. See all the little things that are kind of filled in after we sanded it. Now it needs sanding and there's a lot more stuff that needs filling on it because it's not perfectly even. Or I don't know if it's even or whatnot, but there's lots of little imperfections I can see all over it. But you can see the filler kind of fills up some of the spots. So it's going to get another coat of primer and then some more filler. And it's going to need that as many times until it's as good as I want to get it. Alright, so basically we did the primer already. Then after that dried after about 30 minutes, we did um, the silver color, which is a uh, Chrysler it says. It's a Chrysler color, but doesn't really match in my opinion. But I put them, I put the clear on it after that dried, after like an hour. I put on clear and then it made it match a little bit better, but I still don't think it's truly the right color, but it's good enough, I guess. Anyway, this one's sitting here drying now. The other one hasn't gotten clear on it yet, but will soon. I ended up kind of giving up on making it perfect. There's still a lot of imperfections. I got the majority of them out. There's still some little ones. Whatever. <laughs> and then other ones over there are going to get its clear coat next. This one's just got the silver on it right now. 